Hello from the yurt in a place that only our species calls Eastern Finland. Survival situation, yes or no? Survival situation one or two, level one or level two. This is what this video is about, so stay here if you want to find out if you happen to be in a survival situation. Uh, you might be laughing, but maybe you're not laughing anymore in a moment. So, quickly, a survival situation is any situation where one or more of your survival priorities are not sufficiently covered. The survival priorities that we as humans have, um, I, I think it's always funny because I think we should all know them. Um, what do we need to stay alive, right? Um, our priorities are food and water, that's an easy one. Air and shelter is also still easy. And then what many people struggle is with health and community. So we do need health, we need community, we need shelter, we need water, we need air and we need food. These are the six. So a shelter, for example, can be a parachute, right? Um, can be clothing, fire can be a shelter also, or be part of a shelter concept. Um, shelter, by the way, we need to be warm, dry and safe, or the right temperature, dry and safe. That is the criteria for shelter. Um, there are some videos where I talk about shelter, but now I want to talk about survival situations. So, as I said, a survival situation is we qualify for being in one when one or more of our priorities are not covered in a sufficiently, sufficient, not sufficiently covered or if, if it's not in a sustainable way. Sustainable means ability to sustain, so possible that it can continue for this, uh, like forever or can continue. So, a level one situation or type one survival situation is a very obvious one. They're both the same in a way that one or more priorities are not covered. Um, and uh, a type one situation is where you really know that you are in one, right? You, um, you find yourself outside in a blizzard without clothing, uh, whatever, however that might happen. Um, or you, um, or, or, or suddenly the supermarket stop working and electricity is not working and you feel that, okay, um, I don't have food supply, I don't have water supply, um, uh, and you start getting cold hungry. Um, that, that might already be quite apparent. Um, or you are in an accident and you see that you have a profoundly bleeding wound, right? Health not covered. Or you're uh, trapped in a car that is sinking in the in a in the water yeah so type one situations are very obvious they are like you can you will understand when you are in these situations usually you should be able to understand that your survival in the next um like your survival is dependent on your actions now like if you'll be alive in a few minutes hours days Type 2 situations, um, same thing, priorities not covered. The problem with type 2 situations is that you don't notice it. That makes a type 2 situation um, a lot more um, serious in a way than a type, two, a type 1 situation. So, uh, example for a type 2 is you are out somewhere, you do get some food, you have some sleep, you have some company, you have some water. Um, and like you have everything, um, but altogether they are not enough. So your body is in a mode of compensating for a lack of nutrients, let's say. So let's say your stomach is full, but you're not noticing that you're not getting the vitamins that you need. So at some point your body cannot compensate anymore, um, or your community cannot compensate anymore and you start to, um, get ill. Right, your your um, um, immune system suffers, right? Or you're sloppy. You cannot concentrate. You have little accidents, right? So, um, the type two. That is one example. Um, another type two survival situation example is the one that I am in, except that I do notice it. So when I look at, um, for example. 
a huge part of my food, probably most of my food. Most of my food requires more energy to be to end up in my stomach than what I get back from eating this food. So the survival priority food is not covered in a in a way that it can continue, right? Somebody is compensating, somebody is suffering somewhere from it, right? Energy input output on food must be positive, otherwise we cannot survive. Yeah, it must not only be the nutrients um, and and you know the vitamins and the whatever you need for your body and the calories. It like just just only when looking at the energy, like it's obvious that you need to get more back than what you invested. So, of course, I do invest very little energy myself into getting the food. So a lot of my food is kind of this energy procurement or food procurement is like outsourced. So <clears throat> if you look at, um, I don't know, a package of um, tuna, <laughs> That's a really horrible example. Look at a package of tuna. It says on the side that how many calories are in there. It does not say how many calories it took to build this fishing vessel and build the factory and run the factory and run the ship and catch the fish and package and process and transport and um, store and sell it and heat it up in your oven. So that energy is not on the list and you don't feel it. You only feel what you invest yourself. But of course, it's the whole package. It's one planet, it's a closed system, it doesn't matter who does it, it's still the same energy calculation. So that is type 1, type 2 survival situation. Um, and yeah, it needs to be sustainable. That's the thing, sustainable. Like so that it's safe for others to copy. So that you can continue it like that forever. Um, with adjustments, I guess. So this is type 1, type 2 survival situations. Um, I have some videos and please look down in the descriptions. There will be a link to the full moon full stop tutorial. Uh, the full moon full stop is a tool um, I developed for dealing with our global and our personal survival situations. It's an adaptation of the stop tool. Um, it's very scalable, it works all over the world, uh, it can be used by anyone and it will bring you solutions that work for you. Right? It's not anyone telling you what to do. Yeah. Have a look at this tool, the link will be in the descriptions and full moon full stop, the next full moon is coming soon. That was it for now, have a good time, love you, bye bye, take care and subscribe maybe. <laughs>